Now to the rush on gas stations that we've all seen and many of us have experienced ourselves. It comes with a new warning tonight. Some people are doing something not only dangerous, but illegal. Yona Gavino is live in Dallas with that warning. Yona? In the last few minutes at this Dallas Quick Trip, employees have actually started marking off some of the pumps with tape and those yellow plastic bags over the pumps, an indication to drivers that there is no more gas. And a lot of uh, folks are actually doing something dangerous using illegal containers. Fire officials say they can cause a fire or worse yet, an explosion. With so many gas stations now dry, Signs of hope quickly drew drivers. I'm filling up because I'm legitimately out of gas. <laughs> Some people are turning to the kitchen to find ways to fill up using coffee cans and milk jugs. All you have to do is, and it comes right off. Lieutenant Derek Wood is a fire inspector for Haltom City. The fire department took to social media, warning people of the dangers of storing gas in drums like this seen loaded in the back of pickups. Uh, people were seen filling these up and then just taking a plastic bag and trying to fit a plastic bag and seal it over across the top. Gasoline should be stored outside the home in a tightly closed approved container. And there's a limit on how much you can have. Um, the maximum that they can store in their house is only 10 gallons. So it's two containers, two five gallon containers that they can have. The railroad commissioner is calling this a self made shortage, saying things should get back to normal in a couple of days. Still, it's created panic at the pump, but storing gas illegally can cost you. Generally, can be, start out from $100 and reach up into the thousands. Up into the thousands. It really depends on uh, what the court decides. They have those laws for a reason. I would say there's some justification to those, and that people probably should not be doing that. 